Once again, there are more changes in Hillsborough County that parents need to know about before kids go back to school. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell has been following this back and forth between the district and the state. She joins us now live with details on what seems to be the final plan here. Mary? Superintendent Addison Davis drove to the state, state capitol to sit down with the Department of Education and talk through their position on reopening. Ultimately, the state rejected two phased in models, leaving the district with their final plan. All students will start off the school year with e-learning on August 24th. That will run the first week. On August 31st, students who want to go back face to face can, while others stay with e-learning. The school board voted last week to push their reopening plan and send students virtual only for the first four weeks of the semester. Davis says they risk losing millions of dollars if they didn't follow the state's emergency order. The superintendent says he understands everyone has been frustrated through this process. We know there are going to be bumps in the road. We know there are going to be barriers, not only here, but in, throughout the state, but throughout the nation. So, um, you know, just stay with us, continue to, to apprise us of what, um, you know, is keeping them up at night, what, what um, you know, barriers they may be experiencing. So, so me and this team can, can step up and continue to help them. Students will follow the choice they picked on the declaration of intent. The district told me they're continually reaching out to families who haven't responded and those who made a choice but may want to make a change are asked to call their school. The superintendent did make clear that they will have shutdowns in some form or fashion, whether that's in the classroom in some part or in a common area, but they will handle those closures on a school by school basis. But they did also make clear that they won't close district wide unless there's an order from the governor in Hillsborough County, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.